Hi, my name is Alicia, and I want to bring to you a question that someone sent to me through my website. And um, the scenario today is around purchasing, receiving, and invoicing. So they had a purchase order for 100 units. The vendor sent them 130 units, and then the vendor said, hey, just keep the extra 30 units. I'm just going to bill you for 100. So their question to me, you can see here on my screen, this is the request or the question, like how do you do that in D365? So today in Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain, I wanna show you how to take a look at that, how to do the setup and actually how to process that scenario. So the first thing we wanna do is look at our release product details. So this is the item I'm gonna be using. And under the purchase fast tab, since I'm gonna be over receiving, I, want, I set this over delivery to 100% because I'm like, whatever you send me, I'm going to accept. If you do not set this field, it defaults to zero. So if you don't change that or if you don't have the setting somewhere else, then you won't be able to over receive. So I have set that to 100. The other thing up here at the top under purchase, um, you can check the matching policy. So my matching policy, my parameter table is actually two-way matching. But on this particular example, I want to do three-way matching, so I've set this to three-way matching. All right, so just know that those two things were there. Uh, now we're going to do a purchase order. So we're going to go into procurement sourcing. Purchase orders, all purchase orders. And I'm going to click new and I'm going to do my vendor. Okay. And I'm going to use my item. And to stay in keeping with this example, I'm going to order 100 at $12. And I'm going to go to purchase and confirm. And then I'm going to do receive product receipt. And I'll just give it my receipt number and the line section. I'm going to say update line and registration. I'm going to say add registration line, and then here I'm going to say it's 130. So again, I'm over receiving, and let's give it a warehouse. Then I'm going to say confirm registration. It goes from order to register, which is correct. And then we're going to click OK. And this will give us our receipt. All right, now just to show you what this looks like on the item, you see these over received. I'm going to go back over here to my release, my release product manage inventory and transactions. Let's look for this particular purchase order. So under the number field, we're gonna search for that. We should see that it's 130. So you can see 130 units actually went into inventory, which is what we would expect. Uh, now we're gonna invoice it. So we go to invoice and invoice. I'm gonna give it an invoice number. And I'm gonna do T for today. And now down here, you can see it wants to do 130. Now I'm gonna change this to 100 because I'm not gonna do 130. Now the system is gonna prompt you because once you actually go through this process and invoice it, you cannot go back later and say, oopsie, I wanna invoice the other 30. So you would not be able to do that. So the system is letting you know right up front that this quantity does not match the receipt. So the matching is going to fail and then you have to override or give it an approval. So we're gonna say okay to this message. And it's saying the matching product receipt quantity will be invoiced. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. Now, you'll notice here the match status has failed because the PO was 100, the receipt was 130, and now I'm invoicing it for 100. So the three of those things don't match. So it failed. So how do you override that? So in your ribbon at the top under review and matching, you go under matching details. We know that the quantity was the issue. So if you click on quantity here, you can see we're invoicing 100 and we received 130 so it failed so to override that or say hey that's okay we go under approval and we're going to say yes to this approval and if we want we can put a note in there and then we'll go back and then here you can see that the variance is approved because this field is set to yes i can now post if i did not do that and i try to post the posting would fail because it would say that the matching hadn't didn't match so now i can post And what we should see once this is done, so this is fully invoiced now, we're back on the purchase order and you can see that the status went from received to invoiced. So I hope this is helpful.